welcome to Behind the Velvet Ropes. On this edition, I am going to take you fashion-wise into the millennium. So stay tuned because it's going to be a very new age show. in New York City and 41st Street. This is where all the shows are, most of the shows. We have New York's finest. So, you guys into fashion? I think so. I think so. You look good. Thank you. You do you, yourself. You what? You look good yourself. Well, they, you have good taste. You working for Midtown South? That's it. Do you like that precinct? I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Is everyone chic there? A little bit. So so I'm chic too. Well, you, what, what is that? What kind well, of statement is that? It's a fashion statement. Well, I'm out here. Well, it looks really good. And you know what? Now when you go back to the precinct, you can give them some fashion tips. No doubt. All right. See you guys later. Take care. New York's finest. We love them. We got our security. Security. So, like, how's it going this week? Uh, this week is going fine. It's going fine? Yeah, it's yeah. been a good week. Besides the, besides the weather. Wait, they're very serious here. So you don't let anybody in unless they have their tickets and everything. That's right. Only people that need to be here. There you go. See? So I can get in. So you want to open the door for me, guys? Sure. Look, do we love them? OK. This is for the editors. You come in. You can take free copy. New York Times. Love that. It's all about free. Editors don't like to pay for anything. New Yorker magazine. Do you read this, Shannon? Yeah, Shannon, we have a girl, a chick, on sound today. I love that. All right, here we have our schedule. Look at this. This is what I've been doing all week long. All right, this is my favorite. The Moet and Chandon Lounge. Here you can come in. You can have a glass of champagne. They have a little bit of snacks here for you. Let's see, what are they serving up today? Ooh, look at all that. Here, have one. You can take one, it's okay. Don't be shy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You having a good week? Great. Okay. Love the hurricane. Well, I am ready to go backstage at Randolph Duke, and I have my own security guard right here, Rudy. Rudy, you gonna take me back to Randolph? All right, love him. I love a personal escort, especially when he's cute. Thank you. Everybody's name and they're testing the music. Here's all the looks, all the models, and what they're going to wear. Oh, hey, I'm Lauren Azurski. Hi, What's I'm your name? Kelly oh, Kelly. Hi. Kelly Gutron. We've met How before. Do you want to speak to Randy? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, with him. I would like maybe five, ten minutes. He's very fascinating. I know. It depends on, depends on how good he is. I can even call him on my you what? I can even call him on my little headset. All right, tell him to come back. We love him. I'll be right back. He was one of the first people that I interviewed for my show, actually. So here we have dressers getting ready. We have hair and makeup. All right, it's Janine. Janine Lobel, my favorite makeup person. Makeup person du jour. What's going on at Randolph Duke today? What's the look, girl? Oh, uh, well, well, I guess it's like, you know when you're on holiday and going out and you just took a shower and you kind of your hair's a little damp still and you kind 
having up that sunny glow, and but it's nighttime, so we've made, we're making the eyes a little smoky, coppery. I do nighttime every day. You're really famous. I'm the guinea pig today. Yeah, no, Heidi Klum, you are everywhere. You're on Spin City. Everywhere I go, you, I see you. Me too. You're everywhere too. Every time I turn the TV on, I see you too. We like that. My phone. Yo, girl, <laughs> love that. Uh, we'll come back to see your finished look. Okay. Before and after. She's so pretty, even without makeup. All right, who's doing hair today? Who's the hair guru? Okay. You. So what's the hair? Natural at hair today. You know, doing little pin curls, making hair not so perfect in a natural way. One one way, another another way. OK. Yeah. Everything seems to be going a little bit more natural. New York is natural, yeah. New York is safe enough that they want to make sure that nothing really happens except the clothes. So natural hair. Look at you. This is a fashion statement right here. This isn't the first day of fall. Look at Blue Chris Beard. She's got that roll in. I'm sure there's a fur somewhere hidden around. No, 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 no,
Okay, guys, fashion is ever changing. This is the new look, street flyers. Looks like a sneaker. It's not just a good looking sneaker. Check this out. Ooh, it's like a rollerblade, skating. And I'm standing with Ike Towel, the designer. You designed this. The inventor. The inventor. Thank you. Now, I read your press kit, and it was really interesting, because it was you were going through the Empire State Building on your skates, and the security guard stopped you and made you change into your sneakers. He actually evicted me from the building, and I had to walk out of the building and change into my sneakers. I hate that. It's terrible. So, and then you were looking at a plane, and that gave you the idea. So I don't get it. Explain the whole story to me. If you look at an airplane, you'll see that it has retractable wheels. So the concept was to have wheels that retract into the sneaker. That is so cool. Wow. So where are you selling these? These will be sold. These will be in store in December at major department stores and sporting goods stores. So we got the 411 here. This yeah. is like, is this the first time that this has been on television? Absolutely. I love that. I love that. The sneaker on its own is a beautiful sneaker, and we like to call it a street shoe, not a sneaker. Uh, the first offering will be only athletics, but for spring we will have hikers and casuals as well. All right, how does this work though? Wait okay. a minute, like... This flips out. It has a spring that locks it in so that when you're flying, it holds it and it doesn't come back. And then to pull it back, you simply push the spring in and pull back the wheel. And again, you go running, you go walking, you go play ball, do that's, whatever you want to do. That's not too complicated for me. I can figure that you out. You can do that? I can do that, but I have one question, okay. Ike. Can you put them in my Manolo Blahniks? I think we can figure okay. something out with can that. Can you do that? I think we can manage. So you like them? Oh, I love them. They're awesome. They're uh, like earlier, earlier this morning, I was just uh, I was going to the subway, so I tried them on. I was just skating by people, and then when I got to the train, flipped them down and got right on the bus. Wow. Train, so, so you must be causing a sensation. Are everyone Is everyone asking you, like, where to get them? Oh, yeah, basically. Of course, I just tell them there's, it comes out in November, the local stores. Girls, is it the skates that you like or the model or both? Both. <laughs> Where are you from? We're from the Netherlands. The Netherlands? Are you going to be selling these in the Netherlands? Eventually we will. Eventually they will be in the Netherlands. All right. Eventually, I think so, yes. How much are they? They're going to retail for about $150. Hey, that's a bargain. My Manolos were 5000 so hey, it's a bargain. You recently had your first fashion show. Your sneakers were in a fashion show. They were in the Girls' Rule show on 7th on 6th, and the reaction was incredible. The crowd went crazy. Everybody got up and applauded. It was incredible. So we have, this is Mr. Man on the Street. You just stopped to check it out. And what did you just tell me? I'm a messenger, you know, I could. They can really come in handy for the type of work I do. Instead of walking all day, I can just use them and ride around. So you'd buy a pair? Oh, definitely. Excellent. There you go. BTVR gets everything first, don't we? Absolutely. Thank you, Ike. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, we have our credentials to go backstage, one of my favorite designers in the universe, Vivian Westwood. So, let's go. We're gonna get her before everybody else does. Security, I got my badge. Hey guys, hey guys. Hello. Hello. What? I'm here to see a lot of fashion shows, look. He's checking it out. Yeah, but it's, a, it's, written, in, it's written in a magic marker. I mean, they didn't even print it up like regular, you know? You know, these guys are really mean to me today. I know Lauren, it's... Lauren, you can go anywhere you want. You love know. him. I know it's the end of the week, but you guys, you're in a good mood. And it's been hundreds of shows. Don't you get a little, like, Never. cranky? No, hurricanes don't even bother us. Yeah, we just had one. I've been married 25 years. 
47 bitch, you know, they're not gonna make me crank. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell your wife you said that, okay? Because I'm so nice, I let my crew, I hold the door for them. Please, Joe, go ahead. Please, Shannon, go ahead. Look at the insanity. This is where all the cameras put their little pieces of tape so they know where they're gonna put their equipment. Sometimes it gets like a zoo up here. They're so crunched together. Sometimes they don't get respect. That's not a good thing. Camera people deserve respect, you know? She loves red. Let's see. Ooh, Danilo is doing the hair. Love it. Okay. Ooh, did I mess up his press kit? They'll kill me. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, one of my favorite models, Tatiana. But I love curlers. It's a look. Okay, you're always in Miss Vivian's show. Why do you love Miss Westwood so much? Because she's incredible. She's really talented and really innovative. And we need Vivian to push the envelope. Danilo, my favorite hair guru. How are you? How are you? Good. Your hair rocks. You <laughs> hard, just, rock hard. You just do the wildest, coolest do's. And with, with Vivian, you get to really be yourself and do whatever you want. So what's the look this season? Sort of the, that, that lovely lady that has that hair, commercial hair, you know, just that perfection. And um, she's rocking out on the dance floor. Which is, so it's an image from Studio 54 that we might remember. You know, the total abandon and sweat. You know, I really remember that, and I want to go back to that. But uh, I think we're too old. Right, hello. I don't know that we'll see it on the streets, but we'll definitely see it here. Well, I can't wait. James Kelly Artis. Ooh, hey, how are you? Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. Give me a kiss. So what are we doing at Vivian? Miss Vivian's always like fashion, statement. We're doing a makeup inspired by Toulouse Lautrec and the Moulin Rouge. So mm -hmm. we're using makeup as light and um, they're getting just a top lip line of bright red and turquoise underneath their eye um, and brightly colored eye makeup. The blush is only here, not below. So everything is as if, as if you're being lit from, from below. I get it. I get that. Do you understand? I totally comprende, capisco, <laughs> yes. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here with Millennium 2000, spring. This is so exciting. What are we going to be seeing at Vivian? Because you always are the most creative. Um, well, I just heard um, James talking about the makeup. And um, yeah, this was the inspiration, this idea of the light lit up from beneath. But actually, it's got absolutely nothing to do with the show. It's just something that I thought would work with what else we're doing. Whenever I think of Westwood, and I obviously own some, yes, I do, and I'm picky who I buy, I always feel sexy. I mean, this is just a suede skirt. It's wonderful, but isn't it? It is, but it's got the panels inside and a sweater, but it's sexy. Yeah. So why is everything so sexy? Oh, I think it's just a sense of adventure and wanting to play with, uh, with everything you've got. For me, when I really respect a woman is when she really makes the best of herself. I don't care how good looking she is or not. For me, that's what I admire. show the way it's put together the hair the makeup you know it's it's over the top but everyone can really wear your clothes they're just beautifully tailored well cut beautiful clothes mm. well the thing is that you don't have to just dress totally from head to toe in my things you can really use them and play with them and do things you know so I love yeah. that you that you don't mind that that you can mix Westwood like you don't mind them mixing designers because I wear you head to toe. Yeah. I mean, I like the look. When I'm doing Westwood, I want that fitted corset, I want that fitted skirt, you know, the shoe. I want the whole look, because I love it. 
No, I think it's lovely if you can if you can put something together for you for yourself that's that's you know just ring the changes a bit and mix things up a little bit. I don't like to take too much time and trouble with clothes. I don't think about what I'm going to wear every day. I like to have a few things that I know really work, and then I don't have to think, I just get them on and go out. I mean, it's a bit like, I would I expect ideally like to be like Chanel, who used to have all her outfits numbered, you know, outfit number five, she would call on that night. And, but then you don't, you know, you've got it all sorted out. You're looking your best. <laughs> In this particular collection, there is really a lot of colour, sort of clashing colour, you know, purples and blues and reds and yellows and lovely combinations of, um, you know, a shirt, cardigan and little little skirt, you know, and a little cap, I mean. You're yeah. famous for your cardigans, the yeah. little twin sets. Yeah. You kind of brought that back into fashion. Well, thanks, I did tell you, didn't tell one time. You did, I must but, have done, but thanks for telling me. Yeah. But I know that, mm. I knew that. I think it's lovely, a button-up cardigan with just a few buttons fastened and a few undone. You I think great. it looks lovely. I love, I love this. Look, you always have the best jewelry, too. Yeah. How cute is that? Yeah. Look, I got my little froggy on. Oh, yeah. He's cute. <laughs> well, I'm excited. Lovely. Good Thank luck. You. Thanks, Lauren. How awesome was that show? Did you want everything? Of course you did. Now we're going to leave the tent. Boo-hoo. But we're going to go downtown to the Altman building and hook up with Catherine, a very happening designer. Actually, she's been on this show before. We have to get a taxi, which is not going to be easy. Someone's in front of me. A lot of people in front of me. Whoa, that was rough. All right. Well, we got a cab. We're going to head down to the Altman building and meet Catherine. We're riding with Mr. Singh. You having a good day today? Yes, all right. This is a new cab. I love this. Look, we have like. Yep. This is the AC on back there. You what? AC, air conditioner. Yeah, that's great. If this you want to turn on. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Look how great. There you go. Love this taxi. I'm going to give you a nice tip today. All right. Thank thanks. you. You're welcome. I made it. We're here. Backstage. Oh, hey dog. We love dogs. Is he friendly? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, cutie. Look at that face. Look at that face. Very pretty. Are you you like fashion? So, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey Benjamin. What are you doing here? I'm the show director. And a good job <laughs> you're gonna do. I hope so. I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye now. Hi, Bye. we're with Behind Bye. the Velvet Ropes. Okay. She's taking notes here. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good. See more looks, accessories. Hey, how are you? Very good. She's working hard. It's happening. I know. I have I know. a lot in the last minute. The jewelry just finished, just coming. It's great. All right, we're, we're going to put our stuff down. We're going to interview. So calm down. I'm loving what you're wearing. Models. We actually modeled together. Yeah, we did. We did for animals, for the animal it thing. It was the animal rights show, I think. Um, animal Mukti. They that's raised right, a lot of money. Right. Yeah, they so, did. Yeah. And it was a cool show. It was we great. had fun backstage anyway. No diva attitude. See, these models are really nice. There is no diva attitude here at all, right? Yeah. Right? Not right. at all. Not at all. Not till we get on the runway, though. <laughs> what happens on the runway? Then you got to turn it on.
you excited? Because this is your very first runway show. Yes. What are you expecting to happen? Uh, what do you want to happen? For me, it's very important now that we see the total silhouette. What is the mood? What are the color? What are, what are all these girls coming together like this? And it's my vision for, for the femininity of 2000. The philosophy of the brand, it's always a mixing of the rock and roll attitude with a pant that is always leather and or kitten or snake. It's, uh, it's about this mixed attitude of femininity and the masculine balance on it. When I think of Catherine, I think of a burst of color. They're happy yeah. clothes. Yes, I'm not like trying to break the color palette. I want that everything is playful but with interest. Now your shapes are very sexy, slinky also. Yes, because I'm totally into femininity. And because my clothes sometimes are very feminine, I like to break it. And even when it's a very pretty dress, sometimes they are bracketed by a leather pant or a snack pant with a raw edge attitude. What's very interesting about you, you have a store. Yes. So you did the store first and yes. then the runway show. Yes. Why did you decide to not wait and show the clothes and then open the store? Because for me it was important that uh, the, the collection has a home. I want that people with the clothes can relate to a certain lifestyle, with certain taste in the furniture, in jewelry, in books, in art. I feel that it's like uh, sharing a vision and uh, people today don't just buy a dress, but they buy a dress and they like to understand why this dress has been done in this way. I'm so excited and I have no time to be stressed because I have so many things to do and uh, I have a a life that is very full with my husband, with my baby, with all my job and with my friends. It's a big part of all what's happening today. Well, congratulations. Give me Thank a kiss. You. It's so great. Thank you. Thank you, Ruben, for your support. Thank you for joining me on this edition of BTVR. Come back next week for more fashion, style, glamour and moet and chandon.